In this review, we're looking at the Marvel Legends Daredevil Man Without Fear 3-pack with Daredevil, Bullseye, and Elektra. This is, of course, some of the new plastic-free packaging, so we don't have a window to see the figures, but we do have a, a render of the characters on the front of the box. And it's an actual not photo photography. These are renders of not actual product shots. Got Daredevil coming down on Bullseye and Elektra. Daredevil Men Without Fear. A little comic book art, uh, cityscape in the background. On the side of the box, we got some more renders of the characters. Bullseye and Elektra on this side, and Daredevil on this side. On the top of the box, we got the Daredevil logo, Men Without Fear. On the back, we see more renders of the figures and their accessories they come with. Bullseye comes with extra hands and a head. Daredevil comes with extra hands, a billy clubs, and the simulated the cables that go in between the billy clubs. Or nunchucks, or whatever you want to call them. You got Electra with her size, a sword, two hands, fist hands, the unbandanaed head. Looks really good. And on the bottom, you got your Lee Lee's and your warnings, your sad onion. And on the bottom, you got your barcode if you need that. Now let's go ahead and crack this open and take a look. Inside the box, we got the cardboard tray, figures in wax paper, accessories in wax paper. Make sure to check all these things for all your accessories. Ah, uh, let's see. How can we get these things out? Let's try this. Okay, that worked. We got the figures loose. We got the bullseye over here, Electra, Daredevil. Let's check get these all set up. And let's make sure they ain't got no bow leg or anything from being in the packaging. Ooh, see an issue there with bullseye already. Electra. First and foremost, before I start the main review, I want to thank my friend Don Sawyer. He sent me this set to review. I wouldn't be able to look this review, uh, set with pleasant for him. Thank you again, my friend. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories that come from with the figures. First up, let's look at Electra. Move these parts to the these two to the side and the accessories. Uh, we got the Electra from outside the box. She comes with a one grip hand over here, the grip for the side on this hand, the bandana head. She comes with an alternate fist hand and another alternate fist hand. And we get one warp side, one straight side. A little bit of hot water should straighten that up. One katana, nice uh, big blade, not the normal one we get with uh, Electra, it's a bigger sword. And we have the really nice unmasked head. Really good detail in this. Love this head sculpt. This is the one I'm going to be displaying the figure with. Crazy big hair. Beautifully sculpted. Curly hair. It's a little heavy. Now, that's the one nitpick I got with his head. I wish they when they got lots of hair like this. You know, they can figure out how to sculpt this thing and be hollow. Of course. It is two pieces, so I don't know why they couldn't do that. It's a big chunk of plastic. They're wanting to save plastic, so hollow out the hairs so the head wouldn't be so heavy. On the other head, we got the bandana, which I've seen a lot of people's. That it's sits sitting up too high. I'll see if I can fix that later after the review. And the hair is a little stiff. It, but it's sculpted nicely. Uh, let's go on to look at uh, Daredevil. Daredevil comes with a one grip hand, one fist hand installed. He comes with the opposite of each hand. You got the fist for this side and the grip side, grip hand for the other side. Both the grip hands are horizontally hinged. Same with the fist. We get two batons. Well, they're different from ones we usually get. Most of them they plug in together, but these are both. Got ports on meets end. It's meant for use with this these accessories for the plug into each side and get different effects. I think we saw at least one of these with the black and red one uh, from the spider build a figure wave. 
You can set up a nice dynamic uh, display with these. Uh, each, see how it looks like with the other one. That's really cool. I don't think it would have been cooler if it could have been a bendy wire. We could bend it the way we want it to. And we got Bullseye. And he comes with a grip hand and fist hand on this side. He gets the most hands in the set. He gets uh, another fist hand for the other side. Grip for the other side. He gets a, a finger bang pointing style hand. And a knife throwing hand. A knife. And an alternate yelling head. Crazy, demented looking yelling head. And his regular head, which has an issue. It's missing paint. That's good quality control there, Hasbro. <laughs> but you see one thing that's missing on this figure. He ain't got no gun. He's got a holster, but he ain't got no gun. What the hell? Why would you give him uh, stay with this syst uh, holster system on the belt and not give him a gun? You have countless guns that fit this holster. Give him a freaking gun. Gosh, that's stupid. Well, since I've already got him in hand, let's go ahead and just take a quick review of him on the the paint that's actually there, that they actually did get on the figure, it's the digital face printing. Uh, I do not like the lipstick look they put on these figures, and even on the male figures. It looks so weird. I prefer the, the older head. Same head. One without lipstick, one with lipstick. Yeah, I like this one better. <laughs> and... He came with a gun. I would imagine that. Uh, the chest is blue instead of just being the color of his bodysuit this time. You can see this one. And this one's actually a deep, deep blue. So this one's black and blue. Uh, different stripe patterns around the, the ring of the, sh the sh top of the collar. You got one ring, uh, dark ring here. Two on this one. Same down on like where the gloves would be. There's multiple bands, instead, three bands instead of two uh, on the boots, same way. You got four bands instead of three. They're thinner bands, too. A little bit of paint variation there on the paint, on the decos. This is on the Sunfire mold, so we really know what we're getting with the articulation. Head is on a disc hinge with a ball joint on top, so you can look up. Look down, full 360. Uh, butterfly joints go back. A little stiff on that side. When you go back, it does break the the, the paint with the rings painted around the side. Diskin shoulders, they kick up to here, all the way up. Really good range of motion. Full 360. Bicep rotation. Double joint elbows gets you up up to here. The the sculpt of the muscles get in the way, deflects all the way. Hinge swivel wrist horizontally hinged. Full 360. There's an ab crunch. You can crunch forward this much, back this much. No gappage, which is nice. Some of these ones you get like the big pizza oven when you use articulation. There's a waist twist, full 360. I just unplugged the belt. I did that. Be mindful for that. Ball joint hips kick out this far. And um, you be careful with the holster on this side. It will kick up, but it'll slide down. When you come back down, you want to make sure you slide that holster strap up. And I just unplug that sucker again. That unplugs really easy. If you don't plan on taking that off, you might want to put you a dab of glue on that thing once you get in there. <laughs> Legs kick forward this much. Back just a little bit. Thigh rotation, full 360. Double joint knees. Get you up to here. And boot rotation. Full 360, you got hinged ankles, go down, up, pivot from side to side, good range of motion, as we decent articulation on the Sunfire mold, set to the side, and let's look at Electra. On Electra, the, the neck articulation is a disc hinge with a ball joint on top, 
can look down look up a little bit the hair is going to restrict that with the sculpt but she still can look up some full 360 it is possible to do a full 360 but the hair is going to restrict over top the shoulders on this direction that's as far as you can get but if you go this way you can work around but i'm not going to force it Discan shoulders then kick up to here good range of motion full 360 just gonna move the hair out of the way this has got the shriek new shriek arms and legs so you got bicep rotation double joint, joint elbows these are usually pretty tight Discan's wrist horizontally hinged full 360 uh, this one's also horizontally hinged uh, which been nice we could have got vertically hinged for her sword hand there in her size but those are the reason using the old electro hands diaphragm joint uh, can't go forward too much just barely there's the neutral position there's one you can only do one slight click forward back is better I'll be able to uh, pop the torso out and dremel a notch where she can lean forward a little bit more. You can tilt side to side. You get your full rotation there at that diaphragm. There is no waist twist. Ball joint hips go out this far. Kick forward this much. And back this much. Thigh rotation very tight you got different plastics versus painted too you're going to have some color variations from the skin tones to the legs and then you got double joint knees uh, arms and knee, uh, legs are all pinless too you get up to here really good range and you get ankle hinges go down this much go up this much really good range and ankle pivots now look at the looking at the deco on her it is very clean the lines are nice no fuzzy edges uh in the past we've seen well i spoke too soon there's a fuzzy edge on this side the other side is a little cleaner on this one but that one is a bit fuzzy edge and the color variation too like on the legs too this one is a closer match this one's got more yellow into the skin tone so it's off quite a bit but then it's back to being correct down here that's not cool a little bit of fuzziness down here but overall it's cleaner than what we've seen in the past and you get the digital face uh, deco print deco on both heads but i got some super glue running down the forehead wonderful which I'm going to pop the hair off and the bandana. See if I can fix that after the review. Or we take some, maybe to haul out some of the, the bandana. And maybe trim off some of the head. See if I can sit, have it sit down lower onto the head. But overall, it, I like the figure. But let's see what she looks like with the other head. That's the, yes, the resistance on this one. All right okay this is gorgeous on this figure love the alternate head this is the reason um my buddy don he asked me if we want to split this set uh, and we went in together and got this set because neither one of us went all the figures this was my main draw don went the daredevil another buddy got the bullseye figure so we ended up splitting this in three that's why i'm going to do some fixes on this and i'll fix this for my buddy too fix the paint on the miss on the head on the speaking of heads amazing head sculpt great work on the digital printing it's not one of the low res prints like they do sometimes they did a really good job on this face looks really nice the hair sculpt is just crazy you got the bandana coming out through the back that's really cool nice touch it's a separate plastic so this is hair is multiple pieces 
So my biggest complaint with the head is I wish when they designed it, they could have made the hair pieces hollow. Well, help with the weight because she is heavy now on the top heavy. But she still stands just fine. We got the nice articulated body, shriek body. And if you have spinneret or the female shield agents, you got some extra hands you can use too. Because they're in white. Spinneret's got the style pose hands that you see a lot on female Marvel Legends figures. And we got the thwip hands, extra fist, which she already comes with fist. But if you have the shield female shield agents, you can get a vertically hinged trigger hand, which can be used with her sword. Now she has a proper sword holding hand. Let's pop this out. This is one of my uh, shield agents is used for Quake. Uses the metal gauntlet hands. So I have a good sword hand for Electra. Now this was my draw for the set. The Daredevil is great. The bullseye is good. I already had a bullseye. Kind of wish I grabbed one another the set for myself too, though, is because this is a fantastic Daredevil. Speaking of, let's go ahead and look at Daredevil. And here we have Daredevil. And this is the main draw for a lot of people in this box set. It is a fantastic figure. It is on the Renew Your Vow Spider-Man body. When I first saw pictures of this, I thought this was a different body from the Spider-Man, but it's the same. It's just the colors being an optical illusion. The shoulders are the same, the sculpts are here the same, the pecs are the same, the legs, even the, the fabric uh, sculpts here. So it is exactly the same body, it's just the color scheme just makes it look like it was causing an optical illusion when you see pictures online. But it does share the same body. For some reason I was thinking Spider-Man's shoulders were bigger, but they're the same too. It's just the way the, it's painted. And if you've got the Renew Your Vows or any of the retro cards, you know this is going to be a very articulated Daredevil, the best articulate Daredevil we've ever gotten. The head is on a double ball peg. It sits a little deep, so you doesn't get the full range of a double ball peg. They did notch the back of the neck, so it can go back, look up a little better. So, he can look this much up, this much down, Full 360, and you get some great tilt towards on a ball peg. Butterfly joints go forward this much, back this much. It's probably got that rail system in it, so it's going to hinder that. So you could probably pull these shoulders and clip those, shorten those pegs a little bit, gain a little range of motion. And a lot of people are doing a shoulder swap with a retro card at Falcon and using those shoulders for a little bit bigger. Disc and shoulders go up this much, full 360, bicep rotation, all pinless joints, arms and legs, double jointed elbows, kick you up this far, hinge the swivel wrist, full 360, horizontally hinged, and make sure we got joints on all the arms and legs. Sometimes when they pin the stuff, they'll leave the joints out and it gets filled with plastic. Now full 360, and we got the upper diaphragm joint, which can crunch this far back, this far forward, and you get your rotation there. It also has a upside down ab crunch. What we're say it's upside down from what we're used to with a regular figure like on bullseye. The lower ab crunch can crunch forward this much, back this much. So, and, but when you use them together, that's far as it goes. Then you crunch there and you get a full bend this much. Same with the back. Go all the way to the back then, back that much. So you get great range of that, both using both those joints together. Ball jointed hips, kick out this much. Forward this much. And back to here. Thigh rotation, full 360. And are they drop down hips? Uh, nope. Regular ball jointed hips. Double jointed knees. Kick you up this far. Make sure the other one works good. 
you get the boot rotation full 360 you get hinged ankles go down this much up this much ankle pivots and toe hinges great range of motion on this figure details on the figure one thing i would like to see them done with this one uh, i like to see the d's either a different color or shade of red or outline them in black as they are and they're very hard to see in light and if i put in the dark you can shade some of the light from them you can see the 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 DD for Daredevil. And again, with the two pink lips, like making him look like he's wearing lipstick. Not a fan of that one, what they're doing with currently on the digital face printing. You can see the eyes are also painted up in red. Uh, and the skin tones. And that's it for paint. You got the D's, the face, and the eyes. And that's all the paint on this figure. What's there is clean. I'm just not a fan of like when they're putting the lipstick on the figures. Uh, for comparison, here is the Daredevil on a Bucky Cat body. Uh, the only difference is on this one is I put the boots from the black and red Bucky Cat uh, body to Daredevil. Other than that, it's the same, should be the same height. The figure between the Bucky Cap and the new one, they are pretty much the same height nose the nose these are very well in scale with each other the nice size i actually like this size this should basically kind of be the replacement for this since they're exactly the same size that'd be nice because this is a little bit bigger than a sunfire mold you can see it's a little taller than a sunfire and with other comparisons let's go ahead and bring in electra and here's the old electra figure that's on the old skinny female body they used forever when they had better bodies to choose from. This is a much better body for Electra. They're on par being the same height, just a lot more muscular, better articulation on the new one. They do share the same um, loincloth area piece, just the same sculpt from figure to figure. And they do share hands from the same figures, too. But other than that, it's an all-new mold. Well, street mold, anyway. Great update for Electra. We got old Daredevil, new Daredevil. And we saw previously, did a little bit of comparison already with the old Bullseye with the new one. It's basically just the same figure of uh, new deco and one less accessory. I didn't have a gun. I actually had a gun in my fodder, fodder stuff, so I'm going to actually give it to my friend when I send this to him. So we got the old bullseye, new bullseye. Here we have all the figures standing next to their older calendar parts. Get a good comparison. Overall, this is a great set. Great updates to Electra and Daredevil bullseye. I could live without, uh, I rather would, personally I've been happier if it was just a two-pack. Would have kept the cost down. I didn't need another bull, bullseye. But my buddy's glad he's getting a bullseye. So it worked out that way. Personally, if it was a two-pack, I would have bought it in a heartbeat. When it's a three-pack and especially the price and point on it. That's why I was hesitant to do it. Then one of my buddy Don said, hey, you want to split this one up? I said, sure. That'd be great because he was wanting the Daredevil. Now I'm kind of kicking myself because that is a fantastic Daredevil. I want one now. <laughs> this set's sold out too. If you can find this set still, grab it. It's a great addition. I did, like I said, I did have one QC issue major uh, with this one. I got some missing black paint. And on Electra, her at one uh, skin tone paints the wrong color, a little more yellowish. And she did, does have an issue with her default head. I got glue on the forehead and the headband sitting up too high. But other than that, that's the only issues I got with it. And this one, it sucks, but I, I probably won't ever display this head. I'm going to be displaying it with this head, but I will try to fix it. 
Anyway, thank you for taking the time to watch the video. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch y'all next time.